caer bien. Caer bien. This is a positive one and I like it. Caer bien. Caer is a verb and it means to fall. But in this situation, it means something else because it's a phrase. And bien means good or well. So if someone asks you, ¿Cómo estás? How are you? You can say bien, gracias. And that means I'm good, thank you, or, you know, I'm, I'm, it's a short answer that means I'm good, you know, everything's good. Caer bien. Now, caer bien is quite different. It's quite different because um, this is, this has a different meaning. It's still positive, but it has a different meaning and use. Caer bien means to like or to agree with. Um, and this one is used among friends. We'll see when it means to agree with, okay? But when talking about liking, if you say this to someone, you're not saying it in a romantic way. You're just saying you're a you're a cool person. You I like you. You know, you you're a nice person. I like you. It's not like you're saying, "Oh, I like you romantically." No. It's just a it's a casual phrase that you can use with someone that you like. Okay? Now, let's look at some examples using this verb, well, phrase. <laughs> you end verb because you need to know the conjugation of the verb caer. The first example is me caes bien, a very short sentence, really helpful and common one. Me caes bien, me caes bien. This means I like you, not romantically, okay? Not romantically. You're just saying, hey, you, you're a, a cool person. Me caes bien. Now, I need to say once again, <laughs> that you're going to have to use reflect, reflexive pronouns, me, te, um, nos, le, okay? So those reflexive pronouns. You cannot say yo, tú, él, nosotros, ustedes, ellos, the, the personal pronouns that everybody knows, whoever is learning Spanish, they, I think that's the first thing they they learn. We don't need those pronouns. We need me, te, le, nos. Okay? Remember that. Me caes bien. Me in this situation means I. Okay? Caes, caes bien means like. So where is you? What is you in this sentence? We don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. Because essentially you're saying, tú me caes bien. Tú me caes bien. But because in Spanish, we don't need these pronouns all the time. Yo, tú, él, nosotros, vosotros, ustedes, ellos. We don't need it. And it's very likely that you will not hear tú me caes bien. Okay, sometimes, yeah, some Spanish speaker might say that, tú me caes bien, but most of the time, they're going to say me caes bien, only, okay? So, tú is there, but not visible. <laughs> you can't even hear it. So, we know that we're talking about you because of the conjugation of the verb caer. Tú caes, okay? Me caes bien, I like you. So this gives it away, the conjugation of the verb caer, okay? Excellent. Now, that's, I recommend you learn this sentence, this phrase, me caes bien, because it's a very easy one, a very powerful one, if you want to let the other person know that you like that person. Not in a romantic way, once again. <laughs> not, not romantically. Excellent. Now, the next example. La leche 
de vaca no me cae bien. La leche de vaca no me cae bien. Ooh, okay. What does this mean? This means cow's milk doesn't agree with me. So this phrase is used if you're talking about food as well. If for some reason, you know, you drink something or eat something that makes your belly all growling, you know, then you can use this. Or if you don't feel, I don't know, if you get diarrhea or something like that because you ate something um, that didn't agree with you. So you can use this phrase for that as well. Let's break this down. La leche de vaca. Leche means milk, okay? Milk, any milk. You could be t talking about soy milk, for example. La leche de soya. You need to specify, right? Leche in general means milk. La leche, the milk. Leche is feminine. Remember that. De vaca. When you say de, it's like you're saying from... A source, right? What source? Vaca. Vaca means cow. So, la leche de cows, la leche de vaca, cow's milk. My God, my underline is always bad, sorry. La leche de vaca, cow's milk, no, no. Similar to saying in this situation, doesn't. Me cae bien. Agree with me. No me cae bien. La leche de vaca no me cae bien. Cow's milk doesn't agree with me. So you might get, you know, an upset stomach if you drink this kind of milk. And it happens. There's a lot of people who, who are uh, lactose intolerant. So yeah, that can happen. La leche de vaca no me cae bien. If you use this phrase right here, no me cae bien as well, without this, and you're saying this to someone, to your friend, no me cae bien, you can add a, a name before. For example, I'm saying Miguel. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Let me just do this like this uh, Miguel if you say Miguel we're not talking about food anymore Miguel no me cae bien this is the opposite of liking someone so you this means I don't like Miguel okay so that's what this means Miguel no me cae bien okay or if you remove no then it means that you like Miguel. I like Miguel. Miguel me cae bien. I like Miguel. Okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, it's a very good phrase to use if you're talking about people and when talking about food. Okay? Especially if, if after eating something or drinking something, you feel unwell. So <laughs> it's it's good. It's good to know this one for sure. Caer bien, to like or to agree with. Keep that in mind. 